Hey everybody, it's BJW and welcome to another vlog, vlog number two, dos. Not yet three, but more than one. And uh, it's Friday afternoon, I'm on my way home, finally at the end of the week. Pretty excited about that. Uh, speaking of which, earlier this week was my birthday, July 20th. I'm not going to tell you how old I am because uh, if I were to tell you, you would say, I can't believe you're that old, BJ. You look so young. Right? That's what you'd say? Thanks, I appreciate that. Very nice of you. So anyway, yeah, July 20th. Uh, so as some of you may know, July 20th is the, well, you know, annually it's the anniversary of having landed on the moon. And uh, so that reminded me uh, of a couple of actually pretty significant, exciting, at least for me anyway, uh, events that happened out in our uh, solar system. We had some uh, space-faring adventures this last couple of weeks with the uh, flyby of Pluto in the... Uh, New Horizons, yeah. New Horizons headed out to the Kuiper Belt and uh, did a, a quick flyby of Pluto, that planet that we don't know is actually a planet or not. Some say it is. Uh, poor Pluto. I think it's a planet. Green means go. Green means go. Not stop. And so uh, some of the imagery we got back from Pluto was, uh, I'm not to say it wasn't very exciting, but the fact that we went is significant. Uh, we spent $700 million of hard-earned taxpayers' money uh, to put this thing together and to send it out there. And uh, it took, when was it? It was sent in 2006, so it took nine years, six months for it to get all the way out there, which when you think about it, that's quite a long time. About seven hundred million dollars. Uh, I think what I read about it was that it weighed about a little over a thousand pounds. It's shaped roughly like a piano glued to a satellite dish, which I thought was kind of an odd description, but uh, neither here nor there, I guess. So if you can imagine this grand piano flying through space, a uh, thousand pounds. That's about six hundred and fifty thousand dollars a pound. It's kind of expensive. Bus, 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 bus. Getting behind the bus. So to uh, put this in context of something else that we may have in our minds is something to compare against. Uh, how about we take something like a sports stadium? Um, the I just saw recently that the Oakland Raiders, Raiders, that the Oakland Raiders were uh, suggesting that they should build a new stadium. They should get a new stadium in the Oakland Alameda County area there, down there in California uh, for nine hundred million dollars, a couple hundred million dollars more, admittedly. Uh, and you could seat, what, 55,000 people, 60,000 people or something like that in it. It's a big event, eight times a year, but it's the Raiders. The people who drafted Jamarcus Russell. If any of you guys know who Jamarcus Russell is, he's, uh, they would classify him as a bust. So maybe here's another example. They paid him $68 million to sit on the bench for three years. Well, he didn't sit on the bench. He might as well have. He might have won more games. So $68 million over three years. He was drafted, he weighed like 260 pounds. That's like $220,000 a pound. So that means that we paid three Jamarcus Russells to go to Pluto. Pound for pound anyway. It's not really, yeah. my math's a little fuzzy. Let's just say we got a much better deal sending New Horizons to the Coupier Belt and getting pictures of a rock than paying Jamarcus Russell to play quarterback in Oakland for three years. Behind the bus, bus number zero. Going down Broadway, not where I want to go. And then just a couple of days ago, we had this kind of discovery, I guess you'd saw it, as a Kepler 452. It's a new Earth, 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 Earthish, 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 is that a word? Earthish planet uh, that's out there about 1,400 light years away, which, let's face it, that's a long ways away. So 1,400 light years, just to give you kind of context, and I read this today, I didn't come up with this on my own, uh, that using current technology, the fastest technology that we have right now that's current-ish, you know, or it could be developed in a couple of years, would take us 20 million years to send a corpse that far because there's no way that anybody would survive that trip. So 20 million years to get from here to Kepler-452. And then when we get there, what would we do? 
And what would we call this? Would, 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 I wonder what, the, what they would call it. Are they Kepler 452vians? 452vians? Kepler 452vians? Is that a word? Can I make that up? So that's what I was thinking about this week after having my birthday on Monday, which, by the way, was a blast. I, uh, as I mentioned, I think, in the last Latchcraft video, we ended up uh, going to Elitch's, had a blast, and then I went and saw Ant-Man with my son. Well worth it. It was a great movie. And, uh, yeah, so I've actually got a fair amount of recording to do this weekend, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I, I took about a week off. Just I needed to get away from, uh, you know, playing Minecraft, playing on the computer, spending more time with the kiddos. Uh, I, ended, I ended up getting Rocket League, which then I ended up spending more time playing that than I probably should have. But it's a fun game. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do a full season, and then I'm going to record it. And uh, put out, I think I figured it out that it would be uh, seven videos. So I'll do seven video seasons. So it would be five videos with two games per video for a total of ten regular season games and then four playoff. I guess you call them games. Matches. I think they're called matches. Uh, then I've got a fair amount of uh, recording and building to do on the island this weekend. So I'm looking forward to that as well. That's going to be pretty cool. I got uh, access to Crushed Pixels Replay Mod, which is going to be a blast. Uh, so I, I think tonight when I get home from doing this, I'm going to go ahead and record putting up a glass dome over the center island. And so I'll, I'll put that video up maybe tomorrow if I get it shot tonight, but I'm gonna do it in 360. So it'll be a YouTube 360 video. Uh, you'll be able to get in, you can spin around and look at all kinds of stuff. Uh, Two Cubed had one he put up earlier today of just kind of a quick sample, and of course Crushed Pixels put a couple of them out recently. Uh, these 360 videos on YouTube, and uh, it looks like a lot of fun. So I get to go home and play with that while having adult beverages tonight. So otherwise, I think that's it for uh, Friday Drive Time. I'm uh, just about home, and uh, thank you all very much for watching another of the vlogs. And uh, I think I'll try and do these a little bit more frequently. It's been a couple of weeks. I uh, was trying to sort out a little bit better audio source. So we'll see how this one works, and uh, hopefully I don't have a bunch of blown out audio. That would be a blast. Literally blown out blast. And uh, then we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Thank you very much. Bye.